Good afternoon. It's five past four in the afternoon. I've driven down to Newport, not Newport, South Wales, but Newport in Maine. I went into Walmart where I've done some bit of shopping. I need a little bit of shopping. I needed some water, so I got four bottles. So I'm parking here for the night in the truck stop, urban truck stop. And like I said, Newport, Maine. This is the truck stop. You got Celtic Transport on my right hand side there, far right. Obviously, we can see down to my left. Uh, I got here for three o'clock this afternoon. Oh. There we go. I got here for three o'clock this afternoon, and I'm gonna. Well, I'm getting up for one o'clock in the morning. I don't need to get up so early, but I am just so I can get through New York and everything else. And uh, I'm nine hours away from a customer, so if I leave, if I leave say half past one, I'm hoping to get a truck stop for about. Nine o'clock in the morning, which will only be a twenty minutes, thirty minute drive then from the customer, and then I can chill out all day tomorrow. Then easy life or what? It's not really. I could have started later and packed up later, but I don't want that. No. So now it's put my shopping away. Put my tea on. It's here. This has got uh, haddock, shrimps, and clams in it, and zucchini, celery, and spices. And I heat that up in the microwave. Have that for my tea. I've got my cup of tea here. Then I can put my telly on. I watch a TV series called The Unit. I'm on episode 13 on season 2. Till tomorrow morning. Ciao. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. Today's date is the 21st of March 2016. I got a knock on the door at 4 o'clock this morning. A guy, I think he uh, was knocking for sex and he turned around and said, Can I pay for for C.H. Robinson? So he was lucky. He was very lucky. Anyway, I gave him the paperwork, he put it off. Then he phoned me up at 6 o'clock my time, 5 o'clock their time. Thought it would have been great. Miss an hour of sleep. I went on the bay. Phone him, told him I was on the bay, and just happens I was on the wrong bay because there's two warehouses there with the same numbers. So I went down to the other one, they tipped me, and I'm empty, sat on the side of the road here, and I've got my reload, and I'm off to Hazelton, which is an hour and a half away, 83 miles, and then I'm running up to Cisco's in Kingston, Ontario, where once I get there tomorrow, I'll be sat there all day then waiting for my pre-plan to send me down to Ajax so well, that's it really and now I'm going to let you go because i got a viking guy on the phone here as you can see I'm on my bluetooth here he's a viking there, he's getting very aggressive on the phone because I'm talking to my camera not to him see you y'all <laughs> you want me? Not bad, I'm at uh, Hazelton in Pennsylvania now loading up for Cisco's in Kingston. <coughs> uh, been in here what, 16 minutes now caught up my satellite and I'm straight on the bay. My roof is down to its temperature, minus 13. So as a case right now, sit here, wait for them to load and if I'm out of here by dinner time. Yeah, if I'm out 
of it by dinner time, then I'll drive all the way up to uh, Ontario. Because hopefully then I should be parked up for five, six o'clock tonight. It's a five and a half hour drive, 312 miles, straight up the 81, all the way up to the Thousand Islands crossing. And then 45 minutes from there down to Kingston in Ontario, where I will run into Petrol Canada truck stop, park there for the night, and then roll in for 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, and then see what my dispatcher sent me. Fingers crossed, he'll send me down to Ajax for a load to take back to Moncton, so therefore I could be back for Thursday. If I'm back for Thursday, it will be brilliant because. I'll know tomorrow then if I can phone the tax man up, make an appointment to see him and do my taxes on Friday and hopefully I will get four and a half grand or near enough tax return. And then I'll be off then till Monday because it's somebody's birthday. So now I'm going to sit in the back, put the kettle on, put my computer on and sit down or lay down on the bed and watch the unit. Till next time. Good afternoon. It is twenty second of March. driving today, I've only done 4 hours 15 minutes driving, 40 minutes on duty, and 11 hours 28 minutes laid on my bunk. Typical, uh, obviously that's from midnight. And I've done 239.8 miles driving. Overall I've done 4 hours 55 minutes on duty, that's driving and on duty. I wish they'd hurry up and uh, book me in. Taking their time. Going too slow.
I'm going to have to stretch across now when she opens the window. When she opens the window. Are you empty, mister? Yes, I am, my dear. What's your first name? Owen. Owen? Yeah. And you know where you're going? Yes, I do. Safety guys, make sure it's gone. Yeah. I've got to put my safety vest on. And in I go. Cause I'm empty. There's no messing around. It'll take a little bit longer because I have to make a phone call and tell me what bay I needed. I go around, put my trailer on truck on bay, take the paperwork in, then I'd sit here for hours. If I was tipping, thank God I'm not tipping. <laughs> 